guys. Uh, just figured I'd bring you an update. We're, uh, well, we're in the middle of rentals right now. Um, the wife is actually taking up, uh, I don't know how old it is, but this is the glue that actually held the uh, carpet down. We took off multiple layers of this, um, and this is how it comes off. This is the best way. Like, we just sharpen an old construction chisel and, uh, you know, keep resharpening it, and, and it just kind of pops up like this. But this is how it has to come off. We're uh, redoing the original floors. Sometimes you just get nice little spots where, you know, it just wants to chip off in big flakes. Great, you know. Uh, this is all going to be sanded afterwards, so, you know, smoothed out. Now, I'd have to say, too, that when we went to do these floors, there was layers of carpet and plywood. And actually, uh, one of the layers was asphalt. Now I have no idea how someone would think that asphalt is a good, like, it was an eighth of an inch thick. So it was, but it was asphalt, plain and simple. There was layer after layer after layer. Uh, I think the total was eight layers before we actually got back to the original wood. Now, uh, we're slowly restoring this house. Um, we've even recut our own glass to fit the original windows, everything. But, uh, the nice part is, is that we're not going to show you a big video about this. Um, this is just how we're getting the glue off. You know, sometimes you just got to roll up your sleeves, get at it, and uh, inch by inch. Inches make miles, I guess you could say. So, but... What I'd like to show you is when it's done is it kind of looks like this So this is what we're after like look at that grain That is 115 year old fur Now we're slowly um, Just leveling it out and you know with poly and stuff like that But look at that. This is my entire kitchen We'll do a better video of it later, but I just wanted to show you guys what just a little bit of elbow grease can do. But like always, you know, if you if you got something out of this, uh, if you've got an old century home that you're trying to redo, uh, it can be done just over time. We've had this for a decade, and you know, it's it's slowly coming along. But uh, give a like and share and all that jazz, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.